Hi friends, here is a combo box where you have placed uh, three months as option Jan, Feb and March. I can add one more month here by just entering the name here and I will click add. So now this month of April is already now it is included in the options. Similarly, let me select Feb and delete this. So once I delete this, this option is removed from the three options or whatever the earlier options were there. Now again, I can add it by just selecting here Feb. So add it. So now this option will be added here. It is available. We'll learn how to do this. Let's understand the layout first. We are not discussing how about the widgets and how to place it in the grid and all. We'll more focus on the functionality. So we'll try to, but we'll try to understand this. Now here we are importing TTK and before that TK we have imported and TTK we are importing because uh, our combo box is part of TTK. So here it is uh, a geometry. Then we have added some title in the next line. Then we are declared one string variable. We actually will not be using in this script much this string variable, but it is easy to get the selected option to connect it to combo box. Now here is a list where we are storing a list of options, Jan, Feb and March. Three months we are, you can increase it also whatever one three months we are taken because it is easy to understand now here is the combo box we can you can see here width we have given and text variable and font is slightly higher 22 then we have placed it on a grid and it is the first row then column is also first one because it is the leftmost item and some pad y because sorry pad x 20 so we are not flushing with the left edge or the right element so 20 and from the top edge pad y of 30 we are maintaining then a label just we are displaying about the text telling the about the month what we are going to add and to write up this label we have an entry widget we just to kept this one background as yellow and slightly pad pad x we have maintained it and then button one button is for adding the you can see here here it is b1 is to trigger and text we have written is add so that that will be used to add the option to the combo box and one more is to delete or remove the option from the combo box that's all so this is all the components we have used you can just any anyway, entire source code is available for you to download now the link is there at the description now let's see how this blank window is working here it is so there is no functionality only the options i can add that some extra text also here i can add some month and this buttons now it, there is no functionality because we are not connected to the click event and once we will add that and see how that works <clears throat> we'll start by adding the option so for that let's go to this button where we have written add so this button will keep the command here we'll say command equal to lambda and here i am selling my insert so okay let me come to next line here it is my insert that function we have so far not written so we'll write that so and similarly for delete let's just write that option also we'll come here give the one next command equal to lambda now here i am selling what we are going to do is my delete this function also we are not written now let's just add these two options so we'll move to the top here we'll say define my insert now pass similarly let's write the second one also define my delete and pass so we'll write our code first let's go and add our options here so here what you will do we'll first delete this now we'll say cb1 that combo box one now values this is a tuple we'll get this cb1 values hold all the options now here are the options if you see here values what you have declared is values we have given here months and the month is is a list this three uh, months we have added so now that will get it cb1 values now to this we will add equal to plus means add 
what we will add is we will adding the e1 dot get this is what the user has entered that will get it and that we are men mentioning as a tuple because we can add it actually this tuple value we are adding to the existing one but note that we can because it's a tuple so we can't add or delete any element from this so for but actually in this command we'll create a new tuple and assign it cv1 values so we are giving a tuple here now what happens here now there is moment it is inserted at the same time what you will do will the entry box whatever the user has entered will remove that so we'll say delete e1 is our entry box below that we have declared it after here here what user has entered e1 delete now delete with starting from zero then till end so now let's this part we can check it also now let's run this and see so here you can see Jan, Feb, March. Now I am just adding one more. Let's let me give April and add. Moment it is, I am clicking add. This has come here. You can see, and from here it vanished because the line number eight will remove it. And before that, whatever my insert, when I click of this add button, my insert function is executed, and I am adding the whatever the user has entered e1 get. Here you can see the e1 get that I am inserting it here. Now let's uh, what one issue. Suppose here it is February, March is there and I don't want user to enter. Even if we enter March also that will not be inserted twice. Now right now it can be. So, so let's say I am again I am adding a PR. So let's see add what happens. You can see Jan, Feb, March, twice the APR is there. We will say if it is not there, then only you add. We'll now code that. While adding the values, we'll give one if condition. If here e1.get not in cb1. Now values. Now that means that if this is true that means this whatever e1 get is the currently what the user has entered that value is not there within the our uh, tuple or the options then only you execute this too so users see first will read this value and if it is not in cv1 values now let's just save this and run see the three months are there already jan feb march so let me just add once more the march so it will not be added because already March is there. So second time it's not added now. Now let's move to the delete. Inside the my delete function, first we will create a blank list. We'll delete this and say my new. It's a blank list we are declaring. So we'll we'll be adding all the options except the one which the user has selected. So for that, let's just start <coughs> for opt in cb1 values now that means i am looping through all the sorry not here here all the options so one by one now if that option whatever is uh, in the inside the loop is not equal to cb1 dot get so get means whatever the user has selected if that option is uh, not matching to that then you add to that list sorry here i okay here I will say my new dot append append at the end means add this option to the at the end so if I'm here we are looping through all the options one by one the cv1 values whatever the options are already available and if each one will check it once a option is selected and if it is not equal to what the user has selected then you add it to a our new list so one by one all the options will shift here except the one which the user has selected so that will not be taken for uh, once your delete button is clicked now this append is over now let's use this assign this cb1 now values this equal to now my new now my new list contents now my new list is assigned to the combo box as options so this new list contains all the previously available options minus the one the user has just now selected and click the delete button 
so now let's after this let's just uh, remove the selection delete here uh, sorry here from 0 till end so just removing what the user has selected let's just see that's all we'll see now how this works here it is now let me first add some options now i'll say april added so once i am adding april april has come here now let me select feb and click delete once delete this is there because the last time line number 16 removed that and february is not there because it is removed from the option so now let me just once more december say sorry here not here i will say december here okay let it be i am just adding to it now let's just see here it is now i can put it here and delete it so that will be removed here so that's all so this is how we can add and remove our various options through combo box but note that this we are at this particular application level we are doing not at the source level suppose these options are taken from a database in that case again next time when you run it it will be even though we have deleted it we are deleting at this particular application level only not at the source level if you want to delete it you have to write the query and delete it from the source that's all friends so you can download the entire source code and if you have any doubt, suggestion or question, use the comment section below to post it and I will request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and so you will be notified as and when we add new new tutorials, we frequently do that and please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.